I'm Laura from Strawberry Moon Farm and today I want to talk to you about the difference between a U-post and a T-post. So the two main kinds of metal fence posts that you will find at the hardware store are called U-posts and T-posts. So the first kind, the U-post, got its name because if you look at it in cross-section, it looks like a U. Now U-posts have a lot of advantages to them. My favorite thing about them is that they're very lightweight and they're very easy to drive into the ground. So since it's shaped like a U, there isn't a lot of metal here. It's just a thin, uh, a thin sheet of metal that's bent around in this way. So it's very light and there isn't a lot of material to get into the ground. Um, another nice thing about them is they have these little hooks on them and you, uh, if you're attaching fencing to them, you can actually very easily attach the fencing just by sliding it into those little hooks. The third thing that's really great about them is they have these uh, flat tops on this part and it makes it very easy to step on it and just by stepping on the post you can drive it most of the way into the ground and that really minimizes the amount of work that you need to do with the rubber mallet. So these have a lot of advantages to them. I really like them and because of that I use them to build the brush fence that is standing behind me. Now if you have seen other pictures of this brush fence, perhaps on social media, you know that it used to look a lot better. It used to be taller and it used to be narrower and it used to look so much tidier. The reason is because we had a wind storm recently and the pressure of the wind blowing from the south actually bent all of the U-posts that were on the north side of the fence and now they all look like this. And so all of the brush that was neatly stacked between the posts is now just kind of laying in a heap on the ground. That would not have happened if I had built it with T-post. So now I'm going to have to redo this section of fence. Thankfully I haven't built the whole fence yet, just a few sections of it. But I'm going to have to redo all that work with T-post now. So the great thing about T-post is that they are very sturdy. And if you need something to bear a lot of weight, T-post is your guy. If you look at the bottom of the T-post, no big surprise, but in cross-section, it makes a little T. So that's how it got its name. These are very heavy, very sturdy uh, fence posts. Now they don't have the nice little hooks that the U-post have, so if you need to attach fencing, there's a separate kind of connector, which is like a little wire that goes around buy those separately and use those to attach your fence to a T-post, but you can still attach fencing to these. Another thing that I don't like about them is here on the bottom, this part uh, terminates in a point, and these points will go right through the bottom of your shoe. They'll go right through the bottom of a work boot, and they'll go right through a rubber mallet, and you basically just can't use this at all to drive the fence into the ground. So if you've got a big tall one, and I went ahead and upgraded to a taller size since I was rebuying the posts anyway, if you're working with a tall one like this, you know, I can't reach the top of this post. So I have to actually carry a step ladder into the field with me, climb up on the step ladder, and then from there I can use my rubber mallet to drive this into the ground. And it's very labor intensive to drive these into the ground because it's a lot of material, you know, at the bottom. So you've got the whole T instead of just the little U. But these will not be blown over by the wind. These are very sturdy and going to hold up. So I'm now going to uh, replace all of my U posts with T posts for this fence project. However, the U-posts are not going to be wasted. I have already been able to straighten several of them out uh, to make them usable again. And I did this by uh, driving them partway into the ground with 
my foot. Uh, so you get them uh, just basically like a vice grip. And then uh, with the strength of my arms, I'm able to pull them against the ground to straighten out that bend. So now I'm not going to use these for fencing anymore. What I'm gonna do with them is use them as stakes for my baby trees to help them grow straight and to help me see them in the field. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so other people will see it. And check out my blog at strawberrymoodfarm.com for all kinds of information, tips, and recipes. Have a good one.